Hey guys, Tech Bandit here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Pi-hole as a recursive DNS. Now, I'm going to be setting this on my local network to be able to block a whole bunch of ads that we don't need to see in uh, YouTube and so on. Now, we're going to be using a list of templates that we already imported uh, from the last video, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do it in this one. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, before we get started, we're gonna want to disable the uh, DNS resolver that Ubuntu has built in. The two commands to run are listed on my GitHub page, so I'll have the link to that in the description below. This, the output might look a little weird because I'm on WSL2, Windows subsystem, but this should uh, work. Okay, and after you ran those two commands, next thing you are want to do is set up the folders that you're gonna hold the data for PyHole. I'm going to create the folder in my home directory. So change directory, make directory portainer, then jump into that directory and then create two more folders for the PyHole and DNS. Next, after you get logged in, you're going to want to make sure you're using the same templates we are. And the last video I covered that. But to do that, you can just go into settings, use external templates, and paste in this link. After you got that done, go up to app templates and search for Pi-hole. All right, after clicking on that, we're gonna need to change some settings. We're not gonna be using Pi-hole as a DHCP server, just the DNS, so comment out for 67 or delete it in this case and scroll down to volumes and paste in the directory path for the folders that we created earlier to check that we can type pwd for print work directory lastly i'm just going to give this container a host name calling it Pi-hole. Once you deploy the container, jump out to look for the logs, because that's where the password's gonna be at. Disable auto refresh, so we can scroll up, and I'm seeing it right there. Assign random password. Copy that, and time to access the admin portal. Type in the IP address you put Pi-hole on. Type in the port that you mapped for 80. In this case, 1010. Don't forget to hit a dash and type admin. Once you get this page, hit login and paste in the password. All right, and that's pretty much it to get the Pi-hole installation finished. But to set it up, you need to do a couple more things. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to add a list of domains to block. These are well-known lists. I'll have to link to two different places, whatever category you want to block, whether it's ads and tracking, Facebook, dating services, any of that, we can find a link to copy. Once you got the text file link, go back to Pi-hole, go to group management, add lists, and paste in the address. I'm gonna go add a couple of text files here and I'll be right back to update them. Now to make Pi-hole update itself and download the list of domains to block, we're going to need to trigger it. We're going to want to go to Tools, Update Gravity, and click on the Update button. Success, and if, if you go back to the dashboard, 
you'll see the domains on ad lists went up from 100,000 to 500,000. And you can do the same process to add more. All right. And if you want a more detailed example of me using this, I can make another video. But this is just an overview on how to download it and get it running. All right. If you have any more questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, have a good one.